Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafiz. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your Wonders One and Wonders One color games on your PSP. If you are new here, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help the channel grow. Thank you. The Wonder Swan was released in 1999 in Japan. It was released by Bandai and was developed by Gunpa Yokoi, the same person that invented the Game Boy. Bandai also released the Wonder Swan Color and the Swan Crystal. Despite having sold 3.5 million units in Japan, it was discontinued in 2003 due to poor sales as it was competing against the Game Boy Advance. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple method on how you can play a Wonder Swan game on your Sony PSP. This method will work with all Sony PSP model, but you need to be on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, click the link on the top right and on the description below to see how you can mod your PSP. Now that we got that out of the way, use the second link in the description to download the Wonder Swan on PSP file. Here, I've downloaded the file onto my desktop. Use 7-zip or Windra to extract the zip file. Extract to the desktop for easy accessibility. Now you can go ahead delete the zip file since we will not be needing it anymore. Open up the Wonder Swan on PSP folder. There are a few files here. The one that we're going to look at is the ROMs folder. This is where your games will be placed. Getting your Wonder Swan color ROMs. ROMs are digital copy of your games. Wonder Swan games will be a .ws while Wonder Swan color games will be .wsc. I can't tell you where to get your ROMs from but if you do a simple google search you can easily find them. Here I have some Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan color ROMs. Copy these ROMs and place it into the Wonder Swan on PSP ROMs folder. Next, insert your PSP memory stick into the computer. My PSP memory stick is iDrive, yours could be different. Open up the PSP folder in your memory stick. Next, open up the game folder. We will copy the Wonder Swan on PSP onto the game folder. Wonder Swan games are generally very small, so you shouldn't take very long for it to be transferred over. Once it's done, you can safely eject your memory stick from the PC. Insert your memory stick into the PC and let's turn it on. Always, we will run the Pro Fast Recovery to make sure that we are on custom firmware. This will only take a few seconds. Now that it is done, run the e-emulator program. Let's load our game. Go to ROMs and press circle and select your ROM. Press circle to load your ROMs. Let's load GUM PEX which was released for the Wonder Swan color in 2000. The Wonder Swan can play in vertical or horizontal mode. In this case, the game is in vertical mode. Turn your PSP into the vertical mode. The PSP D-pad will be used for direction, while the PSP analog stick will be used for E and B button. Gampe was named after the creator Gampe Yoko and it's a must-have game if you own a Wonder Swan or Wonder Swan Color. Let's load a new game. To activate the menu, press the L and the select button. The emulator menu will appear. Now select the ROM and press circle to load the ROM. Let's load my favorite game of all time, Tetris. Tetris Wonder Swan was released in 2002. This version is similar to the one that was released on the Game Boy Advance. The game is also in vertical mode. The PSP D-pad will be used for direction, while the PSP analog stick will be used for E and B button. Let's compare it with the original hardware. Here I have the Shady Go 2, which means go by train. It is a train driving simulation game released for the Wonder Swan in 1998. As 90% of Wonder Swan games are in Japanese, playing on the PSP will allow you to use the language ROM hack so that you can enjoy these games. On the original hardware, I'm using the Wonder Swan color since it has a better screen compared to the Wonder Swan. Even though it is a better screen, but it is still very hard to see as compared to the PSP as it does not have a backlight screen. I will be installing the IPS screen on this Wonder Swan color in the future. Do subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss out on future content. Here are some of my favorite Wonder Swan games for you to check out. First up, we have Rockman and Forte Challenge for the Future. This is a single player platforming game that was only released on the Wonder Swan in 1999. If you like the Rockman or Mega Man series, this is something for you to check out. Next is the Rockman EXE for the Wonder Swan Color. This game was released in 2003 and is a part of a Mega Man Battle Network sub-series. This game was only released in Japan and it is more of a platformer rather than a role playing game. Therefore, you don't need to know Japanese to play this game. Next, we have the Guilty Gear Petit 2 which was released in 2001. This game was exclusive for the Wonder Swan Color and it can be played for single player or multiplayer. It is a fighting game from the Guilty Gear series which allows you to control 15 characters unlike the 7 in the first series. 
Next we have the Judgment Silver Sword Rebirth Edition. It is a vertical scrolling shooter game released in 2001. The gameplay is similar to Solar Striker on the Game Boy or the Twin B from the NES. Graphic looks so much better as compared to playing it on the original hardware. And of course, we cannot forget about the Digimon Adventure 02. This is a role play action fighting game which was released in 2000. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Wonderswan game on your Sony PSP. The PSP is more than 16 years old but I still play it on a regular basis as it is still one of the most powerful handheld to run homebrew games. Do check out my other PSP tutorial on the PSP playlist. If you have found this video useful, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We have just crossed 330 subscribers and very grateful for all your support. With that, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.